Yo, what is going on guys, your boy Russ Baca, Gamma Smart Madden 17 Ultimate Team. Today we're actually going to be trying out this uh, about 8K quarterback, Mike Lennon, from the new NFL Mover uh, NFL Mover promo is what I meant to say, and I kind of got stumbled over my words there, but yes, the NFL Mover promo, NFL Mover promo, Jesus fucking Christ, came out yesterday, um, we were messing around with it in stream, for those of you that were in the stream yesterday, thank you for coming by, and I appreciate everybody that did, uh, we seen for about an hour, and we had some fun, we had some new people come in, yeah. um, a couple funny moments throughout the stream, they were pretty hilarious, I'm sure you guys remember those if you're in there. But anyway, um, we did just pick up the Mike Glennon. I was looking, and you know, n none of the cards looked that great. A little bit pissed there was no Eddie Lacy, but you know, I won't let that bother me. I was planning to actually make a review on that card if it came out. But I saw this Mike Glennon. I thought a quarterback review would be kind of cool, and I figured I'd go ahead and talk about him. This is kind of a budget review because, you know, you know, usually I try to do, like, you know, the more expensive guys, you know, if people um, are able to lend them to me for a game because I can't personally get them, is right here we do make a stop on fourth and one. Um, but, you know, I have reviewed, like, Matthew Stafford and cards like that, you know, and giving you my thoughts on them. And I'm going to go ahead and give you my thoughts on this Mike Glennon as a budget card and, you know, just the way that he plays for his price. I mean, obviously, he's about, I think when I was recording this, or when I am recording this, he's like 7000 to like 8500 I think I bought him for $8,300. Um, I, I doubt he went up in price, should have gone down. But the Mike Glennon, I got to be honest, guys, he was not bad at all. I was very surprised when I looked at the stats, it was like, okay, they're kind of... They're middle of the pack. The throw power is nice. The 94 throw power is definitely um, pretty nice. He does have an edge protector, which is kind of weird. But I guess if you run edge protector and you need um, one extra chem, then hell, he might work for you. But, of course, no conductor, no gunslinger, no nothing like that, of course. But the chain mover is nice. He does have 94 short, 96 mid. So, again, those are pretty good stats. And I think this card all around is actually pretty good. I mean, his speed is not that bad at 75. Uh, he actually moves around pretty well. I was able to scramble with him a couple of times. And yet, guys will actually see I did actually scramble for a touchdown in this game. Not anything crazy, but you will see his mobility and um, how well it worked. I really think it works pretty well. You guys can see rolling that to the right. Had no problems uh, nailing the throw. Not on the run. We were able to stop. But uh, his throw on the run is okay. 85. You know, he's going to miss throws, of course, right here. That was actually one of the rare missed throws that he had. I mean, it was 4 for 5 or 4 for 4 up until that point. But that was kind of a bad throw. But right there on the run, a good throw to Kelvin Benjamin. Kind of lazily got there, but still works. If you guys are looking for a bunch of QB, I can definitely recommend this Glennon right there. Just stepping up at the pocket, walking into the end zone for a touchdown. And, you know, that was easy. I think this Glennon is very good for, you know, how much he is. And I think he's kind of like a Matthew Stafford type, you know, as far as the card goes. And I'm pretty sure he has better... Um, he definitely has a better chem. It's right here. Just throw it at me, man. Why the fuck not with OBJ? And I actually called that in stream. I don't know if, if anybody... Uh, not many people have actually fluctuated or had actually fluctuated into his, into the stream yet, but I did actually call that pick with OBJ. So I'm pretty proud about that one. But this dude does end up quitting after we, after we complete one more pass uh, to Jimmy Graham. And we end up getting into another game, which was kind of a weird game. Um, you know, obviously, we're just talking about the Mike Glenn. I won't spoil how the game turned out. But um, you guys will see there are some funky plays in this next game. But anyway, Mike Glennon can definitely recommend him, man. I mean, for his price, I can 100% recommend this card. Obviously, you're going to have some missed throws. But then again, I mean, there's a lot of quarterbacks that miss throws. And, you know, there's a lot of quarterbacks that have these type of stats that throw dots. And I really think that Glennon is one of those cards. But there are cards I've used, like this 99 Donovan McNabb that I just reviewed, like, I don't know, a couple days ago. And he was, he missed throws like really badly. I had no problem throwing the ball with Glennon. I thought every throw was going to be made. And sure enough, it was. I really like this Glennon. And definitely, if I ever decide to move to a budget squad right there on the run, you guys can see some of his, uh, you know, his, his problems in the throw on the run category. Of course, that's not really his thing. And that's why I don't think that he's, you know, great for me. But honestly, man, I like the feel of him. Honestly, sometimes I felt like I was playing with Russell Wilson. Got to be 100% honest. The accuracy was there. And I definitely like this card. So, again, if you're looking for a budget QB for under 10 k definitely recommend this guy. Um, him and Stafford, I think, are the best budget guys in the game. Obviously, you're going to either go um, for deep threat and throw power or you're going to go for chain mover with uh, throw short and throw mid. I recommend the chain mover. That's just my game personally, though. If you throw deep a lot, um, I guess go with Stafford. But this Glennon does have pretty good stats. So, if I had to give him um, a grade, I would definitely give him, for his price, I would give him a B. A B flat because, you know, he does... He does miss throws. That happens, you know, here and there. Um, he did have some miss throws that were definitely um, concerning at some points. But for the most part, he was very good. I think I ended up playing uh, two games with this card on stream. And then I played a couple solo challenges, as I usually do if I have time with the card um, to play a little bit, you know, 
play more with it and of course I did because I bought this card on my own didn't have to give it back to nobody so I ended up playing a couple solo challenges te testing out his deep throw deep throw was good you know I can't say that um, but like I said throw on the run is a little bit spotty is right here I don't know how I didn't get a pick I mean th you know high pointing it should not bail you out of a terrible read and right there it did that was a bad read he threw it right at me but it ends up going over my head and then he fumbles and he picks it right back up so you know, I guess that's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. But right here, Michael Kendricks does come up with a huge sack. And I will give my final thoughts on Mike Glennon in just a second. You guys saw my grade and stuff like that. But right here, this is one of those plays that shouldn't have happened. You know, there was a fumble. I can, you know, I can understand me picking it up. But how the hell does Jalen Collins pick that up and get through five people? That's ridiculous. But we end up picking that up. But you know what? Obviously, I'm not going to just stop. I'm going to run to the end zone. But let me just say what goes around... Or what comes, what goes around, comes around? Is that what the fuck the saying is? I don't know, man. I fucked it up. Anyway, Mike Glennon, uh, going to give him B grade, like I said, for 10K um, or whatever he's going for right now. You can't go wrong. You know, he's really good short and mid. Deep throw is pretty good. Great throw power. Throw on the run is the only thing I would say is pretty, you know, iffy and the speed is okay. I feel like the speed you can move around with and, you know, have enough mobility that you can move around the pocket and possibly have some scrambles here and there and in the short yardage situations, maybe pick up some first downs. I like this Glennon and that's really all I can say on this card. So now getting into the gameplay a little bit more, um, you know, just talking about just, just straight up the game. I mean, this dude... Um, has been doing a couple of things that were a little bit iffy like this read right here He ends up throwing it to the back of the end zone. It was actually not a terrible read But Janoris Jenkins was right there So it looks like it was overthrown a little bit Mike Glennon back to work on offense And this was a drive that I wish I could get back um, Knowing that the way that he scored he ended up scoring on the first play of the game And I was reading chat at the time, you know, I'll, I'll make up excuses well, I'm not making up excuses, but you know, it may sound a little bit bitchy. I'm saying that I shouldn't, you know, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention like at all. And uh, I realized it too late that he was running that, um, the snugs play and he, he motioned the receiver over and Mike Wallace, I think is who scored with that speed was going to get free no matter what. And, you know, he ends up scoring and then I get like kind of a weird fumble for six and shit like that. But that's my excuse. I was reading chat. So that's a legitimate excuse. I was. Don't question it. Anyway, 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, we did have to punt the ball again. Like I said, another possession I would like to have back. I really, I think that punting is a death sentence in this game. With how quick the games can go with the chew clock, I really think that that hurt me. And that could possibly lose me the game is that failed drive. Especially when I thought I could move the ball on this dude easy. Um, I just completely get it, basically manhandled on offense. And now this dude's just moving down the field on me at will. Um, recently I have noticed in every game, GTA, Call of Duty, uh, I have been playing Borderlands as well. Let me know if you guys played Borderlands. That game was the shit. But, uh, I have noticed that I think from smashing my controller too many times on my desk, that my right stick is fucked up. Every time I move the stick to the right, it moves me left. And I kind of just realized that as I was playing games after the stream and I was like, what the fuck? Every time I move, it's moving me left and it's moving my quarterback or my user in a different uh, position is right here. Paul Krause drops a pick in the end zone, which would have been huge. And this dude pretty much gets bailed out. With one second left, I ended up triple covering that tight end. And with one second, he takes the field goal. So it does go up 10-7. to seven. And right here, I don't know how the fuck that happens. But we end up getting sacked for a nine-yard loss. But anyway, I'm going to be looking into getting a new controller because it, it's, it's bad, man. I didn't realize how bad it was. It's like when I flick the stick or try to move right, sometimes it'll move me back to the left. And it's... Definitely an issue and I've been having that problem recently. I, mean, I was wondering what the fuck it was Well, it was that and I need to get a new controller ASAP, but just to give you guys a little bit of advice If you get angry get yourself like an old An old controller or something and use that or smash that somewhere Don't smash your controller that you use because it will fuck you up I've done that twice where I've completely fucked a controller by getting pissed at Madden Anyway, back to the game, but you guys can see we are inside the 10 yard line now. We're moving at will I'm thinking let's go ahead and get this touchdown We had will fuller wide open in the back of the end zone, but sure enough we fumble and Rodney Hudson kicks the ball five yards away and he picks it up and Takes it to the house You know what I can't really say much about that man like I said earlier what goes around comes around that's the right saying and, you know, I end up getting a play like that. <clears throat> I guess he ended up getting a play like that. So I guess it evens out. But then again, this dude did get kind of a lucky field goal at the end of half. With the way that he played the clock, I did not think he really 
I don't know, played that well and right there, Jack Doyle, just dropping passes, so now we're in third and 16 situation, this dude's starting to lock up, obviously he knows I have to pass, so I'm in a bad situation, he leaves Randy Moss one-on-one, -on -one. he did that multiple times, but I could never get Randy Moss to make the play, and now fourth and 16, only rushing one, with two spies, somehow, with all my blockers, he gets past everybody, gets to me, I chuck it up, my receivers bump into each other, and that's pretty much going to be it, guys, I mean, obviously in the fourth quarter, down by two scores, with two clock, this dude can pretty much run this game out. I have not been able to stop him, and I, I really don't know. Honestly, at this point, I was just reading chat in stream. I really didn't give a shit about winning this game anymore. I was like, all right, if I get the ball back, whatever, I'll make this video, and I'll talk about Glennon more. And <clears throat> you guys will see, we made plays. You know, we made plays to win this game. It's just, you know, the cards weren't in our favor, and we just didn't. We didn't make the plays when we needed to. Like I said, failed drives, you know, that that will kill you, man. Especially, you know, the way we had to punt and stuff like that and some of the decisions that we made that may have not been the greatest. And then, of course, the fumble for six that killed us when we were potentially, well, we were going to take the league. Because Will Fuller, you go back and look at that play. Will Fuller was wide open on the out route in the back of the end zone. I mean, wide open. Would have been easy touchdown, easy money. Would have been up 14-10. Instead, he's up 17-7. to You guys see, I'm not using my timeouts. Um, there was just, like I said, I wasn't paying attention. I was reading chat, and at this point, I pretty much accepted the game was over. Mike Lennon rolling out to his left makes a really nice throw. That's, you know, that's another throw to help um, his case of being a very, very good budget QB. So first and ten, Mike Lennon rolling out again, making a nice throw to Kelvin Benjamin, and uh, he ends up getting out of bounds. So we got one more play, and we actually end up chucking it up to the end zone. He tries to send a blitz, obviously. I mean, I'm not going to win the game, so, I mean, he might as well just send a blitz. Ends up getting picked off. Who really cares at this point? But again, just to reiterate, I really think that Mike Glenn is a very good budget QB for 10K or less, whatever he is. Um, very, very good. I would definitely recommend him to anybody that's looking for a good budget QB. And again, my final grade on him is a B. So anyway, it'll be guys. Enjoy this video. Be sure to look out for the next one. And as always, Dangerous Army, I'm out.